Hi everyone, this is my Dementor Hannah. She will suck out your soul for pleasure. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? I'm so cozy and warm. I think maybe you should remove the hood, or at least uh, reveal yourself. Plus, it's Hannah! It's me, everyone. Haha, <laughs> told ya. I, I will be wearing this in the next all of our videos. It's so. chilly right now. It's like yeah, 60. 60 degrees. Yep. You notice I don't have something so warm and wonderful as you. I'm cozy and warm. You're freezing cold. You know, the thing is, I can fit inside of that with you. You could. Maybe. For today's video, we're talking about our wedding. It's actually so warm in there. I Your know. body is like an oven. Okay. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Okay, so what are we talking about? Our wedding. Is this, are you talking to me or that? No, I'll kind of both. Okay, well, we kind of know what we we're going to talk about. <laughs> Let's begin. So, I mean, I guess background for anyone who has forgotten, isn't, you know, intimately... Aware of every aspect of our life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone that's commenting right now, I thought you already got married. Yeah, I'm going to take this down. I look weird. So... We did get married already. Yes. Um, in September, and we got married just ourselves on Zoom with our officiant, and we postponed our real wedding, like you know, with our family and friends, to next year. Yep. So now that is looming. Uh, <laughs> That's coming up in coming up later this year. Later this year in the summer, late summer, and uh, we're not, you know, it's we're not moving on. We haven't planned it. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm also, we hadn't planned the wedding. So there was this joke, you know, that when we canceled our wedding, we didn't have to cancel anything. We just had to move the day because we hadn't booked anything. And we were like, well, now we have a whole other year. And yet it's been, you know, yeah. four months now, five months, we have not booked a single thing. The only thing that we have booked is our venue. Yes. We found a lovely venue that we fell in love with. Yeah. Um, and our caterer. Yeah. Uh, although we don't have our food picked out. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Uh, but so we have like we've done all the down payments. Yeah. Like the wedding is fully paid for, basically, mm -hmm. other than like the entertainment and and the flowers. The flowers. And I do have a dress. Have we have dress. a photographer. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. So what, what we really have to book still would be like uh, dessert, flowers. Uh, what else do you get? Uh, music. We completely forgot to say that we have not yet gotten. The pinata, the moon bounce, the magician. Okay, Shane. Nope. Uh, Decorations. De yeah, anything else we need. And then like the, hair and makeup, uh -huh. and, you know, stuff like that. And then the like logistical planning of like where is family staying? Like what's the order of events yeah. for the day? Sending like, out invitations. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot that has to be done, and we have not begun that process yet. I mean, we have time. There is enough time. Yeah. But it's becoming more and more pressing. Yeah. We're like, we need to begin if we're doing this. And our caterer, I think they have been doing tastings, right? Yeah. And they invited us to them, but we ha we didn't go because of the pandemic. Like, we don't feel comfortable going to a communal yeah. like food tasting. Oh. Like, we're not eating out. And so we didn't do that. And we have to do that before the we spring. Before, you know, we before we send the invitations. Before we send the invitations because we're doing a plate of dinner. And so, like, we would have to do it soon, and yet we are not comfortable doing that. Yeah. And, like, there's no alternative. Like, we either cancel the wedding or, like, don't have food. Like, I'm just confused as to what we're even supposed to do. Yeah. And it's non-refundable. So, like, you know, they're, they're, the, the venue is fine and comfortable doing all this stuff, and we're not, and therefore, like, there is no, like, it's either... If we're not comfortable doing it, then cancel the wedding and you lose all of your money. Yeah. And Which makes sense. I mean, it's not a, a bad thing that they're doing. It's just that we are in a particular situation where we can't really, like, go out in public. And yeah. they need you to go out in public <laughs> to, like, taste the food and yeah. make things. Maybe we can have them come to our house hmm. with all of their food. Yeah. Leave it on the front porch. We'll taste it. Yeah. And then we'll get back to them. Uh -huh. But Ted uh, and I had a conversation the other night about, you know, what if... We just didn't have the big wedding. Yeah. And we're kind of on different pages for that. I 
like that idea. And yeah. I know that that sounds bad, like, on the surface, like, Shane doesn't want to have the wedding, but... I think that's very understandable. And there's a few, there's a few factors that make me feel that way. I hate stressful planning. Like, I know, just based on the timeline now, that making everything come together is going to be a headache. Oh, yeah. I don't like headaches. And so, you know, I'm, I'm more inclined to avoid that than to, like, jump in and yeah. go, yeah, let's make it happen. Yeah. Um, but then kind of the bigger thing is that I feel like we, or at least I, had that, like, emotional, like, oh, my God, this is my wedding moment for our private backyard thing. And that's not to say that, like, Hannah didn't. Yeah. But I really am like, you know what? I feel like I did the, the, the wedding. Like, I'm good. I don't need another one. Yeah. Like, yeah, I feel bad that, like, we couldn't do it with our family. But the stress of it and the, the uncertainty of, like, if the pandemic will be over. Well, that's a whole well, other page. Uh, like, why don't we take it one at a time? All right, so but on the other hand, you are, like, still want to have the wedding. Well, the thing is, like, you hadn't pictured the wedding. Yeah. Shane has not pictured the wedding. Yeah. So he, he did a wedding, and he's like, that's fine. Uh, I bought a dress. Like, yeah. I have, you know, I've texted my friend about, like, how we're going to get ready, what time we should get there, like, what food we should order for breakfast. Like, there's a whole thing. Yeah, and me I, and my I best man have not talked about that. No, you <laughs> haven't. And, like, I've pictured walking down the aisle, and, yeah. like, what role my nieces will play, and, like, all of this stuff that Shane has literally not thought about, and therefore he's not losing anything. Like, he did, he was like, a wedding? Oh, I did that. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, yeah, but we didn't do all these, like, yeah. hundreds of parts that are, like, part of a wedding. You uh -huh. know, I thought about where people would sit, like, where our table would be in the room, you know. So all of this stuff that I've thought about, I'm losing, and, like, Shane yeah. isn't. And so I think that's why I'm like, no, I, I still, I think I would regret not doing any of that. Yeah. Because our backyard wedding was nice, but I didn't wear my dress. Like, yeah. I didn't process out into the yard. I know, like, it didn't have that, like, extra... There was no moment of, like, yeah. here we go. We were just, like, sitting in our house all day, we and then, like, like, together, we were like, should we get the computer, you know? <laughs> and it was, like, so us and, like, adorable. But uh, it definitely was not, like, a yeah. magical... Like, I didn't get my hair and makeup done, you know? Yeah. I got ready in the bathroom, and <laughs> that was it. And I think, I mean, you might imagine that, like, the fact that you have different feelings about this might be a bad thing, yeah. but it's not. No. I, I'm super uh, understanding of Hannah's feelings. She's been very understanding of how I feel about it. Yeah. And we're not like forcing either to yeah. make a decision. Um, we're both just kind of at a point of like we don't know right now. <laughs> and like what you had brought up is that we don't know if the pandemic will even be better. Mm -hmm. So it's like, do we again send out invitations and again send out another one that says never mind never mind like we've done this already so uh, it's just like it's exhausting to be like how do we know if later this year people can come and like our family is you know all over the u.s and like my family's in poland and i i really don't see how that it would be safe to travel by then you know yeah, I mean, and then like are we putting it on each individual person to be like i'm comfortable or i'm I know. it's just like and that's so happy like let's say that vaccines are not widely available by the time that they need to be. Yeah. How could we, you know, have a big gathering knowing that some members of the family are so vulnerable yeah. that they can't come? Like, we're putting them in a really awkward yeah. situation, and that's not fun or fair. Yeah. So it's just tough. And, you know, we're not, like I said, we're not committed into like having it or not having it yet. Yeah. We have some time, although that feeling is slipping away. Uh, but we just want to let you know it right at this point of yeah. what do we do? And we really, we only have like three months to, to decide before we either send out invitations or we send out it isn't happening. And you know, there's other stuff we can do like uh -huh. uninvite people that don't live in the area, but it's all uh, like, it's just so crappy. You know, you yeah. don't want to send out a thing that's like, we're only doing, you know, people that live in Minnesota. Hey, we invited you like to Shane's our, entire family is in Pennsylvania. We invited you, know? you to our first wedding, but uh, for the next one, <laughs> nope, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> you did not live up to our expectations. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, hard to know what to do. It is. So we've been stressed about it. Just. And there's nothing we can do, which is even worse. I know, you know? yeah.
I guess when we get back to Minnesota, we need to figure out how we're going to do our taste test then. Because, like, that somehow is the first step, you know? I know. Or but we're step. not. I know. And right? it's, it's, like, the way that they do it is with a bunch of different venues. Because it's a caterer that does a couple. So they have, like, you know, hundreds of people that go to each one. And, like, they say they're doing it safely. And I'm sure they're doing it as safely as they can. But, like, we are not. Every yeah. restaurant says that. And we're not going to restaurants. Yeah. So we're not, I mean, we're not doing that. You know, when you're doing everything safely, there's still risk yeah. for transmission. So we're not going to waltz in there and sample meatballs yeah. for an hour. How do you feel in terms of, like, the other aspects that need to be figured out? Like, like planning the wedding? Yeah. Are you excited or, like... No, you no. know I'm not excited about that. <laughs> That's the other thing, is, like, as much as I did want to have that wedding, I was I didn't plan it the first time. I'm <laughs> not really that into it. You know? I think it would be really fun, but I'm definitely not. Like, I need to have this wedding. I uh -huh. need it to be this way. I... I would be fine canceling it. You're not a what's it? A bridezilla? bridezilla? No. She's the opposite of a bridezilla. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really <laughs> not into it. But you know, I would like to have it. So I think. I don't know. We're just maybe I'll become a doomzilla. Okay. You know what? I'm taking this wedding on. I'm gonna make it the most fabulous thing. That's not a doomzilla. <laughs> that's not a bridezilla. A bridezilla is like a bride that's horrible to everyone around her. Oh, I thought it was someone that was like, I have to have flowers. Cut in heart shapes. Well, yeah. Oh. But like in a rude way. Well, I was gonna it's do it. It's not just being into the. No, wedding. I was gonna do it in a rude way. Okay. Well, you said I'm gonna be a groomzilla. I'm gonna make this wedding fabulous, and I'm like, well, that's not exactly what a groomzilla would be. I'm gonna like, make it fabulous and make everyone around me really unhappy. That's exactly what it is. I I vow. <laughs> so I don't know. I can picture it both ways. I can picture us canceling it and being fine. I can picture us having it and being fine. I don't. I'm, I'm curious to know what's going to happen. I really am. And, I I mean, I, I feel like I guess we don't have to keep adding on. This video is long enough. <laughs> what was your point? I was just going to say that I want to have pictures of my wedding dress. Oh, yeah. That's true. And I want you to see my wedding dress. I've kept it a secret for like two years. I guess a year and a half. I am excited. I, I mean, I'm excited about the moment yeah. of the wedding. It's just like getting there. And the fact that maybe we can't get there. So oh, yeah. it's hard to get excited for something that, again, is going to get canceled like yeah. we were excited last year and it was really upsetting to cancel the wedding so then for us to this year get excited again i think both of us are just not allowing ourselves to that's true get excited because we're like well this has happened before yeah we're tempering our yeah our excitement a lot yeah yeah to the point where i don't want to have it <laughs> <laughs> you're like i'll just cancel it before the pandemic can cancel it <laughs> i'm so not gonna get excited that we're just not gonna have it <laughs> so that's where we're at We'll keep you updated. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, really fun. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Maybe you have an idea. What what, what should we do? I don't... Let I think us, we've sort of gone through all the options. Let, but well, maybe they've thought of something that we haven't. Maybe. Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Maybe we'll hire you to be our writing planner. Mm. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.